Hello guys and gals, I'm going to try something a little bit different here. This is a book of fables of Leonardo da Vinci that I picked up at the library. It was free. They were wanting to get rid of it. And I got to thinking that maybe I should read some of these on camera. These are all very, very short and very, very insightful, but um, there are 73 of them and I'm not going to read all of them in this one because I want to read, um, probably just start out with one or two and see how this goes over. But, um... This is a book by Hubbard Press, and uh, we are going to uh, get right to it. Um, We're going to go over the... Um, I can't read this, for one thing. It's like in... Um, yeah. But it says, um, Interpreted and Transcribed by Bruno Nardini. Introduction by Margaret Meek. And illustrations by Andriana S Saviozzi Maza. I'm sorry if I'm butchering those names. I'm not very good with um, Italian. But um, I know I love I like pizza. That's about the extent of it. But as you can see, there are all of these different ones. And eventually, if this um, goes over really well, we're going to skip the introduction. I hope that's okay. We're going to just jump right in. If you want me to um, actually read the, the introduction, I can. It's a couple pages, though. And if people actually want me to read this, then I will. But um, we're going to skip it for now, and also the foreword. We're going to just skip right to the fables. And um, here's just a picture. And again, I can't read this. But um, the first fable we are going to read is The Paper and the Ink. And it says it's from the fable... Uh, I don't know what that means. But anyways, it says, One day, a sheet of paper which was lying on a desk with other sheets just like it, found itself covered with marks. A pen dipped in very black ink had written a lot of words all over it. Could you not have spared me this humiliation? said the piece of paper angrily to the ink. You have sullied me with your horrible marks. You have ruined me forever. Wait, answered the ink. I haven't spoiled, I haven't spoiled you. I've covered you with words. Now you no longer, now you are no longer a piece of paper, but a message. You are a guardian of man's thoughts. You have become a precious document. And indeed, not long afterwards, someone was tidying the desk. He collected up the sheets the sheets of paper and put them on the fire. But he suddenly noticed the sheet marked by the ink. And so he threw away the others and put back the one that had that the one with the written message. This one is a little bit longer, and it's called The Wood Lark. Now, I haven't read this one previously. The other one I had. Uh, it said, it says, and that's really a pretty bird, you know? I'm going to zoom in here. Uh, this says, from the legend Amor de Vitru, whatever that is. Okay. Once upon a time, there was a very, there was an old hermit who lived in a forest with only one companion, a bird of the kind called a woodlark. One day, two messengers came to see the old man and asked him to go with them to the castle of their lord, who was gravely ill. The old man followed by, followed, oh, the old man, followed by the woodlark, went with the messengers and was shown at once into the sick man's room. Four doctors were shaking their heads, talking softly among themselves. There is no more we can do, murmured one murmured the one who seemed the most important. Alas, he is dying. The old hermit, standing in the doorway, was watching the woodlark who had perched on the high window sill, and was gazing down fixedly at the old man. He will recover, said the hermit. But how can this peasant make an assertion like that? exclaimed exclaimed the doctors all together. The sick man opened his eyes, saw the woodlark sta staring at him, and tried to smile. Little by little, the color came back into his cheeks. His strength returned, and to the astonishment of everyone present, he said, I feel a little better. Sometime later, the lord of the castle, now completely recovered, went into the forest to thank the hermit. Do not thank me, said the hermit. It was the bird who cured you, the woodlark, he added is a very sensitive bird. When when he is in the presence of a sick person, if the if he turns away his head and will not look at him, it means there is no hope. 
But if he looks at the sick person, as he looked at you, it means that the patient will not die. In fact, by looking at him, the woodlark helps him to recover. Like that sensitive bird, the woodlark, the love of virtue will not look at look at ugly, gloomy things, but seeks out all that is noble and honorable. The bird's home is the flowery woodland, and the home of virtue is the noble heart. True love can be seen in adversity. It is like a light which shines the brightest when the night is darkest. And that is very true. It's kind of a cute picture. But I think that we are going to call this quits for now. I know this is going to be a short video, but I want to see how these, these fables go over. If I get even just a few comments, I'll keep this going. I don't know if I'll post fables every single day. But if we do, the next one will be called The Snow, and I'll probably read The Fox and the Magpie too. And, uh, oh, The Spider in the Keyhole. Well, The Spider looks kind of scary, but I will read that one too. So I'll read these uh, next three. But um, we'll see how the uh, comments go. And as always, that's a really cute picture, by the way. I love foxes. Anyways, I'm going to um, close the book for now. I'm really glad I found this book. Um, it was quite by accident that I found it, but then again... I find that coincidences are very, very seldom coincidences. I also have, um, I also picked up this book. Uh, it is um, Treasured Fairy Tales of Childhood, fair, Fables and Nursery Rhymes. So um, I might read this too. I don't know how long these are. I haven't even looked through this book yet. So, uh, but it doesn't look like, oh, well, some of these are like Old King Cole. And I think this was from Alice in Wonderland, because there's Twiddledee and Twiddle... Twiddledee, Twiddledee... No, the fiddle... Okay, this is Old King Cole. Okay. A, B, C... I mean... And this looks this this looks cute, too. I mean, I might read this, too. I do want to get into reading more books on camera. And um, I figure um, fables and nursery rhymes are probably the way to go. But anyways, I as always, I'm seeking your feedback, the people that, wa that actually watch this channel. Sorry there hasn't been any content. I know I've gone a few days without. But um, like I say, I, um, I've been trying to retool my channel. And um, so, yeah. I've powered up my um, Steam account. I've powered up my um, Google Play account. So I'm probably going to be purchasing some games off of um, both of those. Um, I actually bought a game, but, um, I don't have the memory on my phone to actually run it, because it's, like, two, a two gigabyte game. I didn't realize it was that big when I purchased it. So I'm going to find a way to, um, or find a device that can run that game, because I was really looking forward to, um, streaming that on my channel. But, yeah, it's just a minor setback, and, um, I'll keep working on that. But, as always, this is, I appreciate all the support, all the views, all the, all the comments, it, it just means a lot to me. Um, and as always, I'll keep making video content as long as I can. Um, all the information you need will be in the description to, below. If you want to, you can um, subscribe, ring the bell. It'll tell you, let you know when I actually upload. And as always, thank you for watching, everybody. Your support really means a lot. I know some some videos get more views than others, but I put a lot of love and care in every single video I make. I try to do my best for you guys and gals. And as always, thanks for watching, everybody. Have a great day.